Our most kind and gracious Heavenly Father, it's again we come to you, Lord, at the end of another day, when we lay down to rest, Lord, from the daily toils and labor of this life. And I thank you, Lord, for bringing us safely through this day and watching over us and taking care of us. And I pray, O oh Lord, today that you look down this way, Lord, that you'll forgive us our sins and your coming, our faults and our failures, Lord, because we're all guilty. And, Lord, I also pray today, Lord, as you look down this way, I pray you send your drawing spirit one more time to those that's lost that don't know you as their Savior, Lord, and give them another opportunity, Lord, before it's too late. Because I know on one day life is going to run out for all of us, Lord, and if we wait too long, it's just too bad. And, Lord, I pray today for those that's gone astray, that's got back out in the world, they left you, left the good path, straight path, but somehow they got back out into the world, Lord. I pray you bring them back one more time. And, Lord, I know we've all went astray some time or other, but, Lord, you brought us back. And, Lord, I pray today, Lord, tonight, Lord, is before we sleep, Lord, for those who are sick and afflicted in body. I pray, Lord, you reach down, heal, deliver, touch, and set free, because, Lord, you have the power over all sickness, all over disease. I know you can heal. All you have to do is speak the word, and the sickness is gone. But it's not my will, Lord, but your will be done. And I pray, O oh Lord, if it's not your will, for them to be healed down here, I pray, O oh Lord, to make their suffering, their pain, easier to bear and endure. And, Lord, I pray today, O oh Lord, also for those that have lost a loved one by the way of death, uh, by the way of going by the way, way of the grave, Lord. It, it's crossed that silent river that we all think he left too soon, Lord, but you know what you're doing better than we do. And, Lord, I pray you give them comfort and peace and let them know that they will meet again somewhere in glory on the streets of heaven. Lord, the place you went to prepare a long time ago when you rose again from the grave and went back and took your seat at the right hand of the Father. And, Lord, I pray today, Lord, you help us overcome our troubles and trials. And give us strength and courage, Lord, to continue on as we press on on their way. And, Lord, I pray, O oh Lord, you'll help us climb that high hill and cross the wide valleys. Because, Lord, we can't climb it alone. Neither can we cross the valleys alone. But you'll go with us all the way. Because, Lord, you said you'd go with us all the way, even to the end of the world. And I stand on that, and I believe on that, Lord, with all my heart. And I pray also, Lord, for those that's in the nursing homes. Lord, you reach down, touch them, help them to feel, let them know what you're there. And I know many of them feel like they're forsaken, Lord, but you haven't forsaken them, Lord. I pray you touch them. Walk around their bedside tonight, Lord, and let them know that you're there and your love and your mercy. And, Lord, we pray for those in the hospital, sick in the hospital, Lord, that you give them a speedy recovery and let them return home to their families. Where they were to people, those they love, and those that love them. Because, Lord, it's, it's easier at home than it is to be away, be in the hospital, Lord, somewhere. And, Lord, I pray today for those that's broke, uh, broken homes, Lord, and broken hearts. I pray, Lord, you reach down and put them back together again. Because, Lord, I know if a heart is torn in many, many pieces, Lord, you know how to make them whole again and put them back together. And, Lord, you can take out this old stony heart gets in people and put in a heart of love, heart of flesh, that never leave a scar, never leave a place where a stitch has ever been put in this flesh. But, Lord, you're the greatest at all. And I pray, O oh Lord, you also help break up the fallow ground, that your seat would take root and grow up to be a good plant and a good vessel. And, I, Lord, I pray, we pray, Lord, that you make us what you want us to be, because you're the potter and we are the clay. And we put place ourselves in your hands and lay ourselves at your feet. And Lord, I pray, O oh Lord, tonight, Lord, you make us into a vessel that labor in your vineyard, that we can see sons and daughters born in the kingdom and be a witness to them, Lord, that need you. And Lord, there's not one of us down here to live in the day that don't need a closer walk with you, no matter how long we've been saved. But we need a closer walk with you and a deeper understanding of your word. And Lord, I pray, Lord, you anoint us and give us the knowledge and wisdom, Lord, we need 
to teach your word and speak your word with understanding that all can understand that you're pleading from heaven to those that are lost and to those that's gone astray. And Lord, I pray you touch the pastors and preachers in the churches over a land and country and as some pastors in Kentucky, Lord, I pray you touch them and build them up and give them the words they need to say, Lord, and preach your word and not words of someone else, but your word, your gospel that you have called them to preach, Lord. And I pray, O oh Lord, today for those, Lord, around the country, Lord, that each time they stand to bring a message of your word or teach, teach your word that you'll speak to their heart and let them know that they'll follow you and your word and not the words of man because man had destroyed many, many things because they didn't listen to you and let them realize they're not there to please the people but they're there to please you. And also, Lord, I pray you let us know that we can't please everyone we come in contact with and everyone we speak to because we're going to have enemies. We're going to have those that don't want to hear the word of God. But, Lord, it will not return void to where you send it. And I pray, oh, Lord, tonight, as you look down on us tonight, you look down on our heart, Lord, and keep us clean and pure and ready to go when you call our name uh, that our witness can be good to those uh, that need to hear you uh, and need to grow closer to you uh, and I pray oh Lord you let this word uh, your word sink deep down into our hearts and our lives uh, and guide us along the way uh, that we may have uh, something to shine uh, a light along the way uh, to help someone else uh, at the passing by uh, let us be a light uh, a city sit on a hill uh, that our line will shine out uh. Uh, uh, like the lighthouse uh, that sing about sit on the hill uh, uh, that we can help someone uh, that's in stress uh, that's in trouble uh, that is a passing by uh, that is searching for Savior uh, that is searching for something they cannot find uh, in this world below uh, and that is the Lord Jesus Christ uh, and the way of salvation uh, and I pray oh Lord you remind us again uh, of your great love and your great mercy uh, and I also pray for leaders of country and our nation uh, that you talk to them you, you speak through their heart and soften the hard hearts uh, and let them follow you uh, I pray you protect Trump and his family uh, and put the hedge around them uh, and protect them from those that want to do harm to them uh, and tear them down uh, but Lord I pray most of I pray Lord uh, you touch every one of us uh, I pray, forgive our country and nation uh, so that we can return to you uh, and give you the praise and honor and glory uh, and we see all the time I have signs here on car, cars and automobiles and, and different things. God bless America. I, I pray, oh Lord, you let people know uh, when America starts blessing you, Lord, uh, then you will bless America. But, but I pray, oh Lord, today uh, uh, you'll look deep down into our hearts tonight uh, and you know our being. Uh, you know of uprising our laying down. Uh, you know all things about us from beginning to the end. Uh, and I pray, oh Lord, will you let us walk in a way uh, that we will help someone else uh, have a word of kind word uh, to speak to someone uh, at the seeking a greater love uh, and what they have down here uh, and Lord I pray today also Lord uh, that you give us strength and courage uh, how to go on uh, as we press on through uh, uh, this life uh, towards the end of our journey uh, and let us press on to the word of Mark uh, and apply the high calling to God in in Christ Jesus, uh, where we can find rest and peace uh, for the weary soul uh, that's grown weary. Uh, and thank you. Uh, help us all take a, one more look uh, at Mount Calvary, uh, and it will give us the strength uh, uh, to go on. Uh, and help us all also know, Lord, uh, we can't do anything within our own strength. There within us, uh, the Christian. 
because we're not capable of living it on our own without you. Uh, it's just like my uh, dear Lord uh, that we cannot walk on, on each side of the fence at the same time. My, my friend, we got to be on the right hand or the left, uh, but my friend, help us walk straight forward uh, on the right road uh, that leads to glory the one is straight, uh, the straight path for our feet, uh, that Lord, when this life is over, uh, we, you can call us home, uh, out to rest in your heavenly home. Uh, now I pray one more time, Lord. Uh, as you'll save someone tonight before they sleep. And Lord, if we never awake no more in this world down here, we will open our eyes in the portals of glory at your feet and give where we can give you praise and glory and honor forevermore. 